Hola! Welcome back to my channel. We're still on holiday in the Dominican Republic. That is why this background looks different. This is our hotel room and Jackson is just having his nap in that bedroom there. So I thought I would film a quick Q&A for you guys. Um, so I asked you guys on Instagram for your questions and I've had loads through. Lots of them were quite similar to each other so hopefully I can answer your most asked questions questions today and if you don't follow me on Instagram I would love for you guys to come over and follow me on there as well I don't daily vlog but I always do Instagram stories every single day so that's probably the best place to keep up to date with what we're up to and my latest videos and stuff like that um, so yeah my Instagram handle is Mrs Emily Norse and I will link it in the description as well um, so yeah I'm gonna answer your questions but I'm also gonna answer the top three things that pop up when you write Emily Norris into to Google this blew my mind <laughs> if you write Emily Norris and then the things that just pop up the first one was age so it seems like a lot of people want to know how old I am which is funny but I'm hoping that means that people can't place my age like you don't really know how old I am um, so I'm 35 ah! um, I was born February 1983 so I'm a Pisces which means I'm creative emotional and sensitive um so yeah i'm 35 and when i first started youtube when i was 31 four years ago i remember thinking oh i'm a bit too old to do youtube and sometimes when i go to youtube training or like convention things i do feel a bit older because a lot of youtubers are like 10 years my junior but now i feel really good about it i feel like i'm like this experienced mum that has a bit of knowledge maybe and I'm actually I don't think I've ever been happier than I am at the age I am right now like you could not pay me enough to go back to my teens ever I just would not ever go back to my teens they are hard um so yeah I'm 35 <laughs> The next thing that instantly pops up on Google when you type in my name is Emily Norris Net Worth. Now this really surprised me and I don't want to disappoint you guys but I'm pretty normal. Um, but there's a few different ways that you can earn money on YouTube which I definitely didn't understand when I first started out. So the first way you can earn money on YouTube is through the ads that roll in front of the video. But that money it really is quite small and I don't think I earned anything for a couple of years because I think you get a penny per 1,000 ads that run. So really it is very quite small, it takes a long time to kind of build up. Um, but the main way that I earn an income through YouTube is from working with brands. So if I make a video for HelloFresh, Google, Smart Trike, something like that, um, they'll pay me an advertising fee. And that really varies and I only work with people that I love. And sometimes if a brand doesn't have a huge amount of budget, but I love them anyway. Um, I'll talk about them and not charge very much. But obviously, that is why I'm always so like, and I love when you're supportive of my brand work because hopefully it means I'll get more and I'll be able to do this for longer. Obviously, I'm, I, I gave up my day job to do this, but I'm always in the back of my mind thinking, I wonder when this is going to end. Like, I just don't know how long it's going to last for. Um, and then my last way, hopefully, I, I mean, I'm not really doing it to earn any money. But I am creating a planner which is coming out in hopefully November. Um, so that will be out soon. I've signed it all off. It's like a diary journal um, for mums. So, I mean, I know other YouTubers make quite a lot of money from merch. But I just really wanted to make this. I'm, I'm really proud of it. And I just want to help mums get organized. So I'm really excited about that. Another thing that pops up when you write my name into Google is Emily Norris Husband. So I'm guessing you all like Matt. You need to just calm down because he's getting a big head. Another question that I've had a lot is if I'm still breastfeeding Jackson because I've never made a video of like stopping with him or anything like that. I've just kind of kept it a bit quiet because I actually am still breastfeeding him. Um, I don't want to shock anyone. I know some people don't like that, but I, I am. He's two um, and there always seems to be a reason why I should just carry on. He barely does like he literally a tiny bit at night. That's it. It's just like for comfort. To be honest, I don't think he's getting like a huge amount of milk or nutrients at this stage, but it is like the quickest way to comfort him. So I just do that right before bed and I was actually kind of holding out for this holiday because um, there's always jet lag and stuff. There always seems to be like the next holiday. So I've just kept doing it, but I do fully, um, I've decided that as soon as we get home, I think I'm ready to like, to that's it. But 
It does make me very sad because he is my last baby. That was another question I got so many questions about fourth baby, but I think that's it. I'm sorry guys. Um, and I feel really sad saying like that's it, but realistically three is a lot and we're so happy. We feel so lucky with what we already have. So that is it. Loads of people asking the girl question again and I'm, my, my viewers from a long time will just know I'm so happy with the three boys. Like I would never wish for a girl. I don't feel like I'm missing out at all. Um, so yeah, that girl question really does like get to me a little bit. Uh, I mean, it would be nice to buy frilly clothes and stuff like that, but I have two nieces. Um, so if I ever feel like I see something really cute and girly, I can just buy it for my nieces. I've also had so many questions about my recent weight loss and I will definitely make a full video about it, but I really wanted to hit my goal weight before I made a video. I didn't want to sit here and go, oh, I've lost all this weight, but I still have a bit more to lose. I really wanted to get down to exactly where I want to be and get into a good exercise um, regime as well i am doing a seven minute little workout every single morning i do a lucy windham reed video she's a youtuber so i find it so easy i can just put it on my phone and do this little seven minute thing but i do really feel it and i find if i don't do that little exercise first thing like as soon as i wake up then i don't get around to doing it so I've just started doing that and I'm hoping I get better at exercising, but the main ways that I lost weight were really increasing my water intake. Now this is hard when you're a mum because I found that I was going to the loo all the time, but I was drinking between two and three liters of water a day and I feel like it's made all the difference for my skin and for my weight. Um, I've also completely stopped eating the kids' food, um, any of their leftovers, I don't touch it. And I've honestly just been being quite sensible and counting calories. I know a lot of people don't like the calorie thing, but for me, with my brain, it, it works. Like, I feel like I can understand, like I'm only gonna have 1500 calories and do it that way. So there's a, a few things that I'm doing. I did also do a little juice detox and also the Cambridge weight plan for a bit, because for me, I needed to like, when I started this, I needed to like reset and then move on. When I do, like, I know people don't like fad diets, but when I literally strip everything away, it makes me realize how much bad stuff I was putting into my mouth, um, and it completely resets me. So I like doing those, but I know when I did a video about that before, I got so much hate, um, but it's just whatever works for you. So I will do a full video coming up soon, but those are the main ways, and I've lost like 13 pounds in total, but on this holiday, I've already put two Two pounds back on because um, I have been having like ice cream every day and like treats and like Prosecco and stuff like that um, so yeah I'm not denying myself anyway I I feel like I still want to do I still want to like live and do whatever um, but yeah anyway I'm rambling I also had a few questions about my height and my weight as well and one girl in particular said I hope you don't think I'm being rude but when I show clothes she doesn't know what size to order so I am quite short I'm five foot three so I'm quite small, um, and at the moment I am weighing eight stone 13, which is like 125 pounds. So ideally I would like to be eight stone seven, um, so like 120 pounds. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm like pretty much there, um, but yeah. I am literally telling you everything in this Q&A. <laughs> I also got quite a few questions about my skincare routine and some of you saying my skin is glowing, which I definitely don't see, but thank you very much. So I love Elemis products at the moment and I have also loved Dermalogica products in the past. So any like medical skincare product, I really, really like and I do my little routine religiously. Um, if you are looking to get a skincare routine, you can just pop into a salon and ask for samples. They will normally do like, they call it face mapping. So they'll just look at your face, look at all of the different types of skin because normally the different areas need different things um, and they will just give you samples to try. So before you ever pay out a load of money for products, because they can be so expensive, um, have face mapping, test a few things out and then get your skincare routine. One of my viewers asked me what to get her husband for Christmas. So I have done a men's gift guide in the past, so I'll link that down below. But Matt at the moment has been wearing this aftershave called Christian Dior 
Suavage, I think it's called, and it smells really good, so get that, because he'll smell amazing. <laughs> Someone asked, how do you keep positive and energetic all the time with three boys? So I think I am naturally quite a positive, sunny person. Like, even when I was younger and life wasn't as good as it is now, I think I've always been, like, a glass half full kind of person, and I've always been hyper. Like, my mum says, when I was little and growing up, like I was quite hard work because I was just full on hyper all the time. So I have got loads of energy. I think even before we had kids, I struggle to relax. Like if Matt and I as a couple would go to the beach, I would be like building sandcastles and like doing stuff. So I, I, I actually find it really hard to relax. Like I really, really do. Um, there's probably something wrong with me. I don't actually know what it is. I had loads of questions about going on holiday as a family and saving for holidays. And one person said, what is your top tip for saving money? And my biggest tip is to write every single thing down. Do that for a month. If you write every outgoing, everything you go to buy, you have to write it down. It will really make you see where you're wasting money and you can almost like categorize things like where you can cut back. If you notice, like I did this in the past and I was like, oh my God, we are spending so much money on social outings, like going out with friends or dates, things like that. And we could just cut that back straight away and save all of that money or coffees. Like you wouldn't believe how much you spend in coffee shops and things like that if you write it all down it really forces you to look at what you're spending like you can even cut back on your phone bill probably um, so that is my number one tip for saving money someone also asked what is on my bucket list so the main things I really want to do but it will definitely be quite far into the future when my children are older is I'd love to learn a language I've always felt very ignorant especially when we come on holiday that I can't really speak much of another language like I can understand quite a bit of French because I'm Canadian, but I can't really speak another language. So that's definitely on there. I'd love to go to Machu Picchu in Peru and climb that. It looks amazing. I'd love to go to the Rainbow Mountains in China as well. I'd love to take the kids on safari when they're older. Um, I think they would completely love it. Like go to South Africa, do safari when they're all like teenagers. And I'd love to go to Australia and take the boys to Fraser Island because that is what Fraser is named after. But yeah, I have loads of other things, but those are the main ones. I also had a few questions about whether I plan to do Vlogmas or not this year, and I am planning on doing it. Um, I really hope I can do Vlogmas. I love watching our old Vlogmas videos back. There's some really good memories in there. Someone said, what did you study at university? So I studied marketing with human resources, and then I decided that I didn't really like the human resources side as much as the marketing, so I pursued a career in that. And then I made videos on YouTube and didn't actually need my degree. <laughs> Someone asked what my favorite sweet treat is. And I must admit, I would always choose like cheese over sweet stuff. I love cheese and wine over sweets. But if I was to have sweets, I love sour candy, like um, sour Haribo, stuff like that. I had a few questions about how I deal with trolls. And I must admit, I don't get many troll comments on this channel which I'm very lucky about. It's a very positive place, but I do still get them. And I even got some when I put on Instagram, ask me a question. I just got like some hate, um, like, why do you do this? Like, just horrible ones. Uh, but the main way that I deal with it, I do it in two ways. I delete and block them, or I say something really nice. It depends on the mood I'm in. I try and be really, really kind. The one thing I don't do is bite, and that is so hard sometimes, especially if someone says something really personal to you. You just want to go back and go, you don't know anything, blah, blah, blah. but there's just no point. Like, there's absolutely no point. People can sit there behind a keyboard saying whatever they want. I know people wouldn't say that to my face if they met me in real life. Um, and I, I think sometimes when I make content without meaning to, like, I would never want to ever offend anyone or be controversial like this channel is just like a happy nice helpful place but some people get really offended from some of my videos um, and I never ever mean for them to be offended like when I made that how to get pregnant video I honestly made it thinking oh this is gonna help some people that are starting out for the first time it literally offended so many people that were having fertility problems and that was not my intention 
at all. Um, so yeah, I think sometimes maybe I'm a bit naive, like my journey into motherhood and birth and everything has been easy, I think. Now, hearing the stories that I've heard and listening to other people, I think maybe, you know, I should take that into account sometimes, you know, not be so naive and just understand that other people have it really, really hard. But it's also hard to talk about other experiences. Like I only know my experience. I only know what I've been through. Um, even my positive birth video can offend people, but that's literally, that's just a vlog of my birth. Like I can't change that. So anyway, I'm really like rambling on now, but I never mean to offend anyone. Um, trolls are, you know, normally I honestly, I feel sorry for trolls. This video is probably quite long by now. He's gonna wake up any minute. So I hope you liked this Q&A. If you have any other questions, please put them in the comments down below and I will aim to answer them. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.